what you will receive increment in your salary where the senior doctors no matter how good they are they are not able to tap into this area and preferably they hire students who have md in pharmacy If you are doing your BHMS or have just completed it, then at the most you might be thinking that you end up either in a clinic or in a job. But those are not the only career options that you have after completing your BHMS. So in this video, I am going to be discussing all the possible career options that you can have after your BHMS, and we are starting right now. Hello everyone my name is Dr Tara Khan welcome to my youtube channel where i share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies if this is your first time here start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any and before that i'll be talking about eight career options and the last one is my favorite so coming back the first career option is of course setting up your personal clinic your private clinic so the basic qualification that is required for this is your bhms means after you have graduated but there are few pros and cons of setting up a clinic so let us see what are the pros see the first pro is that you have your own setup you don't work for anyone you don't work under anyone you are your own boss so you have your own setup your own private clinic and the second thing is and which is the most important thing is that you have flexible hours like you can be available in the clinic at any hours according to your schedule so you cannot do this when you are at a job or if you are working under someone the third pro is the scalability means you can go to unlimited heights if you have your own clinic means there is uh, no limit to how much money you can earn how much respect you can earn and how much you can scale this as a business and also the respect thing when you have a clinic you have lots of patients waiting for you and how many business do you know of where people wait for you for hours and hours in line and when they finally get to meet you they treat you with humility they pay you for the 5 to 10 minutes time that you have given them and still respect you for that there are very very few business of this nature so that is the respect that you earn as a doctor in your clinic now of course this setup uh, comes with few cons the first con is that it requires a huge investment like if you want to start your own clinic then first of all you need to have a place now this place can be your own you can buy that place or it can be rented but either way you will have to invest few amount because even if you are going for rent you will have to at least go for at least a year of rent and if you are planning to buy the place then you have to be investing a lot of money like anywhere it can be anywhere between 15 to 30 to 40 lakhs depending upon the place you are getting the uh, area you are getting means it depends upon a lot of factor but these are the kind of investment that you are investing and the rent thing i was talking about the second con is that this takes time this practice growth where you are able to scale and where you are able to earn pretty good amount of money this will take time because this is not going to happen overnight that you have today you have started your clinic and from tomorrow you start getting lots of patient and you start making a lot of money that is not how this works so this takes time so i was talking about rent so if you are on a rent the thing is that you have to invest your time in that and if you are on rent chances are ke you might have to shift your place and that is very bad for your practice so the major con in this setting up your clinic is that it takes time and the second is it involves huge investment at the beginning which might be difficult for a lot of people for a lot of students the second career option is becoming a homeopathy consultant since setting up my own private clinic incurs a lot of initial investment so an alternative to this is that i become a homeopathy consultant at some place like i'm not uh, promoting anything but for example i join dr batras or there are many suppose i i have my clinic tomorrow i might hire someone to sit in my clinic for doing few things like case taking and all so you can apply for these kind of posts the upside is that you're not investing anything from your pocket and in your initial days you are gaining a lot of experience from treating patients at someone else's clinic so you don't run the risk whether the patient is getting cured or not so that is not your part of the risk but there is a downside to it the downside is that those patients are not your patients so basically you are not making a name for yourself you are making a name for the person or for the organization that you are working under but then you get paid for this 
and the salary can be anywhere around 30 40000 and it, i'm not talking i'm not going into the details of the salary it can be anything but this is one very good career option that you can think of the third career option that you can think of are government jobs and the basic qualification that is required to apply in these kind of jobs is your bhms degree and of course few jobs require md as your basic qualification but this varies from jobs to jobs these jobs may be central government jobs or a state government job. So if you are applying for a central government job, then you will be posted possibly in the center, which is in Delhi. Or if there is any central institute in any state, then you will be posted there. And uh, if it is a state government job, then you will be posted in your own state. But basically in these jobs, you will be posted either as a medical officer. Now, if you are going or applying for a medical officer, then you will be posted in some hospital of course in uh, homeopathic hospital and you will have to look after the administration of that hospital and as time passes and as you gain experience of course you will receive increments in your salaries and i am not going to talk about how much you are going to earn as a teacher or if you are applying in a teaching job or as a medical officer you people know better how much salaries these post earn so if you have any doubt regarding salaries write down in the comment section below if i know i will reply to it or if anyone of you knows kindly help each other out in the comment section so that was medical officer job. Second is you can even apply for teaching job. Now, if you are applying for teaching job, then the minimum qualification in most of the places is MD. So first of all, you will be applying for a lecturer post. And then after gaining few years of experience, you will be promoted to assistant professor and then professor. And these kind of posts are if you are applying. And the third kind of government jobs are research officer posts. Now, there are a lot of researchers that are going on in homeopathy. So these sectors require research officers and research assistants even. So when you are applying in these kind of jobs, you either might have to go through an entrance exam or through an interview and there are a lot of students a lot of people who are applying in this and those who are selected get posted in these jobs the fourth career option that you can think of is going for a post graduation which is an md and in homeopathy there are md in six or seven subjects as far as i remember i think there are four homeopathy subjects and then there is pedia there is practice of medicine and there is psychology i think uh, these are the only subjects that uh, you can do md in homeopathy and this is one qualification that I think should be mandatory for all these students because most of the jobs, when you go out and search the minimum eligibility criteria in applying in most of the jobs is an MD qualification. Now this MD in homeopathy is of course for three years and there are a lot of institutes in almost every state where you can do MD and you even get a stipend for this and this varies from a state to a state from institute to institute but about 30 40 thousand you can definitely expect from any institute that you're doing md and of course this is only for government jobs in private jobs you won't get any stipend but uh, that is also for three years but at the end you will at least get your md degree and whether you should be doing your md from a government institute or from a private institute i've already made a video i'll put the link of the video in the description and also while you're doing md which is the best subject which is the best subject that you should be considering while doing your MD. I have also made a video on this. I'll put the link of both these videos in the description. The fifth career option that you can think of is doing an MBA as in MHA and MPH means Master in Hospital Administration or Masters in Public Health. And doing this, you will be posted in any hospital, not only homeopathy hospital. You can be posted in allopathy hospitals also, and you will be looking out the administrative department in that hospital. Once you have this MHA degree, uh, you can go for government hospitals also and you can also apply in private hospitals and there are a lot of institutes from where you can do MHA just search online you will get a lot of institutes and there are institutes from where you can do this degree even as corresponding the sixth career option that you can think of is setting up an online consultation now unlike the first point where there was huge investment required at the start this online consultation becoming an online doctor doesn't require much investment as such and the good thing is that you will be treating patients of your generation. So your generation patients are searching online for treatment, for consultation. So you can tap into this area where the senior doctors, no matter how good they are, they are not able to tap into this area because of lack of generation gap. So you can tap into this area and become a very good doctor. And also in this, you can get patients from anywhere, from absolutely anywhere. Unlike in the first case where I was, I was treating patients in my area, suppose if I am in Delhi, I'll be getting patients in the radius of five, 10 or 15 kilometers in and around my area, but going online completely remove this factor but you will have to make sure that you have a very good profile your profile is the window to your clinic the downside to online consultation is the medicine quality 
in homeopathy what happens usually we dispense our own medicines suppose if i have a clinic so i make sure that the medicine that my patients are getting from my clinic are very good quality but if i am treating patients in some other city then that becomes a very hassle thing because in other city that medicines might not be of very good quality so if you are going for this career option then you will have to make sure that the medicine that your patient is getting is also of very good quality the next career option that you can think of are pharmaceutical jobs now the companies that manufacture homeopathic medicines they hire people to help them in their research to help them in manufacturing medicines and all these kind of things and a lot of other things so you can apply for these kind of jobs and preferably they hire students who have md in pharmacy so if you have an md degree in pharmacy then you definitely have an upper hand and the salary that you get in these kind of jobs are also decent the next and the best career option that you can think of are medical staff and i have already made detailed videos on that you can watch those videos here and here let me know in the comment section if you can think of more career options give this video a like if you found it useful share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next video